just go. Dude, it's like 5.30. Couldn't this wait till tomorrow? Didn't you hear me? There's been a nuclear disaster. You need to get to San Francisco. Now! Alright, sounds good. I'll talk to you tomorrow. A nuclear disaster? How am I going to get from Chicago to San Francisco? H how far is Chicago to San Francisco? Are there any roads left? Alright, I just need to start off by calculating the distance. But now, what, what am I going to use? Use the law of Haver signs. Now, the law of Haver signs can calculate the distance between any two points on the Earth's surface. I will be starting in Chi Town and going west across the United States to San Francisco, the city by the bay, to seek safety from this nuclear disaster. Now, I'm going to define the latitude of San Francisco as phi 1, the latitude of Chicago as phi 2, the longitude of San Francisco as lambda 1, and the longitude of Chicago as lambda 2. Now, the formula for the law of Haver science is 2 times the radius of Earth, which is 6,371 kilometers, times the angle whose sine is the square root of Haver sine. But wait, none of my calculators have Haver sine. So now, I need to simplify that to be sine squared of whatever was inside for the Haver sine divided by 2. So in this case, delta phi divided by 2. Plus the cosine of the latitude of San Francisco times the cosine of the latitude of Chicago times, I'm going to simplify Haver sine once more, sine squared of delta lambda divided by 2. So now plugging in variables, we have 2 times 6,371 kilometers times the angle whose sine is the square root of sine squared and now delta phi is phi 2 minus phi 1 so the latitude of Chicago minus the latitude of San Francisco in degrees divided by 2 plus cosine of the latitude of San Francisco times the cosine of the latitude of Chicago both in degrees to keep consistent now I need to reduce Haver sine once more to make it sine squared of delta lambda, which is lambda 2 minus lambda 1, so the longitude of Chicago minus the longitude of San Francisco divided by 2. Plugged it into my calculator and I get 2,984.9077 kilometers. But wait, how much gas am I going to need? Ah!